Hello my precious jewels, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's Julie and if you like makeup tutorials, makeup hauls, makeup reviews, first impressions and all things beauty, then you've come to the right channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of this brand new Danessa Myricks Lightwork 6 Freedom Palette. I'm going to be going through all of the swatches, the component, and then I'm going to top it all off with a full face of Danessa Myricks Beauty. Hopefully this is something that you guys are interested in seeing and you will stay tuned for the video. If you've been to this channel before and you have not subscribed, give, a, give it another try and then subscribe to the channel. If you love a trying new makeup video, please give the video a thumbs up and I love to hear you guys comments. I love dialoguing back and forth with you. So I'm just going to get started. This is the new Vanessa Myricks Beauty Lightwork 6 Freedom Palette. It retails for $128. It's magnetic, stackable, customizable. I love the box. The packaging is so beautifully colorful. I just really like it. I'm a color girl. But when I got this package, it was super, super packaged. And when I say that, it had so much bubble wrap on it. I was like, oh my God. It had bubble wrap on the outside. And then I'm gonna unpack this and show you what it looks like. That's the inside of the box. This palette has 18 shades. Okay, so more bubble wrap. <laughs> On the back of the box, it shows you everything about this palette, like all of the colors and everything that's in it. More bubble wrap. It comes with this little Danessa Myricks Beauty pouch. So we have this white outer carton. I'm gonna open it from this end. Inside we have, it's more of a spongy, type of wrapping. They were making sure that when you got this palette in the mail, it was not broken. This is what the outer carton looks like. I'm gonna take this paper off. And it has this little mirror. That's the mirror. This is so cute. She has this on most of her latest eyeshadow palettes, a little, like like a dog tag type of thing. So that's what the outer portion looks like. Oh, then it comes, it's in two pieces. This is actually a magnetic mirror. The palette is magnetic. So this goes right back in and it won't fall out, which is wonderful. That's the top piece. You can put individual eyeshadows in here. So this is the beautiful palette. That's what it looks like, can you guys? See that? I'm gonna take this off. So it's a total of 18 shades, but it's actually three different components. Let me show you. If I could take it out, I wanna take it out without messing it up. Cause I don't wanna dig in the shadow. These are individual, you can take them out. The color stories are made where you can use all of these together or you can do it individually. You can also take these little pieces out, these. Okay, so you could take it out individually and then put it back inside. Like say you want to travel and you didn't want to take this whole palette, you just wanted certain shades, you can put that on it. It's magnetic, it won't fall off. And then you can do it with other shadows or like pans from pots that you depan that have a magnet on it. So you can just take this and close it up and take everything together like that. Yeah, because it's magnetic, so the top doesn't come off, which is wonderful. I think this is a very sleek, sexy looking palette. I love the colors. I love this little tag in the front. I just think it's so sleek. Like you can see through it, but it's, it's very luxe looking. And it's like a hard plastic. On the back of this, you have the same description that's on the back of the box on the back of the palette. So it gives you the ingredients, the color names. Oh, this is so innovative. I love that she has it where you can travel with everything or you can travel with just individual shadows. This was so well thought out. This and this go together and you can carry it like that. It makes it so, so easy for travel. And then you can just take everything. Instead of taking the big flat palette, if you just want to take the shadows, you can just clip them together. Yeah, so you can put all three of them together and then you have a cute little on-the-go palette that you can just put in your makeup bag and it doesn't take up a lot of space. It's very heavy though. The best part about this Danessa Myricks Lightwork 6 
palette as you can fit it all in this little magnetic bag so it doesn't fall out and you can travel with it <laughs> this received five stars on the Sephora website and right now it says that it is limited edition satin finish metallic finish shimmer finish pressed powder formula cruelty free vegan it's free of parabens and formaldehydes and all that you can use these pigments on your eyes face and lips I hope that I put these shadows back in the palette the right way so that I can swatch them and tell you the colors. Okay, Proud is a warm gold with a soft pink shift. Okay, so yeah, I think that's it. A warm gold with a soft pink shift. I think that's the color. And then the next one is Higher, which is an electric peach with flamingo pink shift. Gorgeous. Then we have Unapologetic, which is a suede warm brown. That looks kind of reddish to me. Then we have Rise, which is a yellow gold with a peach shift. Gleaming, which is a beetle green with warm brown shift. I hope you can see the shift. And then we have Nirvana, which is an olive green with a teal shift. Okay. I hope that these are the right shades, the way I'm swatching them. I don't know. It says it, but you can't even tell because the shift is just so different like you don't know what colors you're seeing I see purples in there and I see all kind of colors so yeah <laughs> hopefully this is the right thing okay the next this was these six now we're going into the purple ones so we're going into release is a seafoam blue with a lilac shift yeah okay so let's see Do you see the lilac in it? Yep, you sure can see it. Then we have Fluid, which is a bright teal with light gold shift. Yeah. <laughs> then we have Unbound, which is a satin indigo blue. This is like a purpley kind of color. Then we have Free, which is a light hot pink with dove gray shift. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Then we have Euphoria, which is an orchid purple with a royal plum shift. Bliss, which is a velvet eggplant purple, which is this color. Now, I don't know why, but they're not in order on this. Because that got to be Bliss, this purple one right here. Then we have Serenity, which is a light neon pink with yellow green shift. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> Serenity, light neon pink with yellow gold shift. Okay, that is gorgeous. Joy, which is a bright coral pink with bumblebee gold shift. Wow. I'm gonna have to go up here for the other four because I don't have no more room at the bottom. A lot of them look kind of similar when you look at them on your hand but when you swatch them it's different okay then we have love which is a silky berry magenta so dance is a ballerina pink with a silver shift I think that's this one okay. 
And then we have Rejoice, which is a vibrant rose gold. This is the color Bliss. So which was the other one? That's the color Bliss. That's a velvet eggplant purple. Okay, I just want to figure out the shade that I missed. And empowered. So that's what it is. They missed this one called Empowered, which is this dark purple, which was this one. So that's Empowered. So let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, yeah. So I had said that this one was the color Bliss, but this is not Bliss. This is Empowered, and this is Bliss up here. They missed that name on the call out on the Sephora page. So that's what the problem is. Because I was like, I'm not bugging out. Okay, so I know this is gonna be a long video, but we're gonna take this right here which is the Danessa Myricks Color Fix Nudes in shade number 10. And we're gonna use this as our base on our lids, just so we can have something to blend these colors into. This is gonna be a very, very galactic look. And I know that this palette is not for everybody, but my color girls will love this. This is like, if you go in I don't know where you would go, a party. You can use this on different, you know, social gatherings, depending on where you're going and how glam you want to look. But this is going to be a very galactic kind of look because these colors are very shifty. Very beautiful though. These are the type of shadows that you really only need one color on your lid, but we're not going to do just one color because I want to be able to show you guys as many of the shades as I can show you. This is the Sigma E35 Tapered Blending Brush. And I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go into this purple shade right here and put this all over the lid. Some of these formulas are satins, some are dual chromes, some are metallics. And I think she had two new formulas, which was this purple and the blue one. They're like a a satin matte, if I'm not mistaken. I just I want to read it so I can tell you what it was. Yeah, we just want to have like a color to blend into it. This is a beautiful purple color. I'm trying to think what does she call them? The two I'm gonna show you which two colors I'm talking about are the new formula. This purple and this blue. They're like, I wanna say she called it a satin matte. I still got a little piece of glue on my lash line. Okay, so it's three shades that are the soft satin mattes, which is unapologetic, unbound, love, and bliss. Okay, so four shades, soft buildable mattes with tonal shimmer pearl. Yeah, it does have, it does have a shimmer. Okay, yeah. I just wanted to make sure I'm telling you guys the right thing. I'm going to go into this purple shade right here with this Sigma E35 blending brush. And let's see. I feel a little kickback from it. Yeah, I could feel it falling down on my face. But this is a beautiful, beautiful shade. This one is the color Empowered. And if I'm wrong about the shades, I will definitely put it on the screen. These shades are very pigmented. I like those colors. Like, I think it look nice. Depending on where you're going. I think that's so pretty. I'm gonna take this brush right here, this tape of blending brush by Sigma to E40 and just blend out the edges here. Purple. This is the Sigma E30 pencil brush. I don't really see a shift in that one. Do you see a shift? See, maybe you guys could see it from your angle. I don't really see a shift from my angle. Do you see any green? I'm gonna take this color right here. I'm 
Okay, well that's what we got so far. I think the colors are really pretty. I'm gonna take this color right here. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna put this on the lid here. Oh yeah, this is gorgeous. You can do so many things with this palette. I'm just gonna take this and blend out up here. What I like about her shadows is you don't have to use your finger and they show up They're just like they're supposed to. Like you don't gotta wet them or do any of that and they show up just like they are supposed to. Now I'm gonna take this shade right here and put that That's supposed to have like a yellowy gold kind of shift to it. I wanted to give it a little full warmth. I think that that's enough colors, guys. <laughs> I think we used quite a bit. Yeah. Okay, so that's it for now. Let me start on the face. And then we're going to go from there. Because <laughs> this is a lot. It's a lot. It looks pretty. I'm just going to I'm gonna put a liner on and some lashes. This is the Vanessa Myricks Line Work Liner in a shade onyx. I love this liner. I think I told you guys before, it's so good that when you use this liner, everything that you touch, the liner shows up on. Like it's not one of those liners that you have to worry about skipping. So that's what we got. All right, let me put the lashes on and I'll be right back. This is what our lashes is looking like. Okay, so we're gonna start on our skin. I have all my skincare on already, my primer and my moisturizer. I'm going to put some of this on, the Universal Blurring Balm Powder. This is it right here. It has like a slight green tint to it, and I just use a spoon to scoop some out and put it on the back of my hand. I'm not gonna go over everything because I've reviewed all of these products that I'm using today on a video before and I know that this video is gonna be super long because of the eyes. I'll have everything. I guess I had some fallout on my face, you see that? Yeah, this turns into like a moisturizing kind of balm, but it makes the skin nice and smooth. It holds the makeup on all day. I don't care if it's 100 degrees, your face is not moving. I always talk about the Upsolite when I use this. It has something called Upsolite that is made in Sweden. What it does is it neutralizes the oil in your face. And it's like it becomes more oil resistant the more your face starts to like sweat, if that makes sense. Like you would think that, you know, your skin is gonna melt, you're gonna have to touch up. I've worn this in almost 100 degree days and my face didn't move and I was super surprised. That's what made me fall in love with this primer because I wore it in the summertime. I had got a little sample size and it worked. And I was like, oh wow. Cause I had it in the shades in the, cause it comes in I think 15 different shades and I had it in the shades and I was like, oh. But then when I realized how good it is, I bought a bigger universal one. I have this little travel size one that I don't like to leave home without. If I'm going on vacation or whatever, I'm taking it with me. It's good. Yeah. So I bought the bigger size so I can have at home. I'm going to put a little bit of this on my nose. This is the water powder serum. I'm just going to put a little tiny bit on my nose. Like four drops. Now sometimes this blurring balm powder, which is the first thing that we put on, and I don't think I said it. Sometimes it dries out too much, and I put a little bit of moisture. So sometimes I'll use this Moisture Repair Balm Serum. I'll either use that, or I will use her oil. She has a face oil. And you would think if you use the oil, because like I have super oily textured skin, for all you first time people here, which I hope that it's a lot of first timers here today, I have textured oily skin in my cheek area. So I'll use this and it really does work. Like it gives moisture. It's a good primer and it's not super oily. It's called the Danessa Myricks Beauty Hydrating Facial Oil. It really works, so yeah. Okay, so today we're gonna use her Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. 
and I have it in shade 13. Now this is my regular shade. I do have a tan, so I don't know if this is gonna be my color today. And I gave my number 14 away. Yeah, I kept both 13s and I gave number 14 away. So let's see what it does. I think this yummy skin serum tint, it comes in 16 shades. I don't think she added any new ones since it came out last summer. Like, it doesn't give heavy coverage, it's a skin tint, so it's exactly what it says. I could have used something heavier because I have a foundation from her and I have the Blur and Balm powders, which I could have put on my face as, you know, one of the shades and then put this on top of it, but I didn't, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, that color looks good. It doesn't have any fragrance, which is wonderful. It doesn't have a, a lot of coverage. It's like a medium to light buildable coverage. But once we put the concealer and stuff on, we should be good. I hope that covers enough of my skin. It looks really pretty. Like the color is very pretty. All right, so let's go into this. Danessa Myricks. It's a cream bronzer. I know she has a lot of shades and she just came out with a darker one. Or two, I can't remember if it was two or if it was one. But this is dark too, and it's Danessa Myricks. I'll give you the name in a second. I can't remember the name. And the writing is so small that you can't tell <laughs> what it says. I mean like microscopic small. It's not just that I need glasses. It's very small. And I do wear reading glasses. The older you get, you realize those reading glasses really come in handy. This blends right into your skin. It just gives a nice amount of dimension back into the face. That's a nice shade. I think it goes up to like dark four now or dark six. Let me see how many shades. <laughs> Danessa Myricks Beauty Balm Contour and it has 10 shades. And this one is deep too. So they have two more that are darker than this one. But see how it blends into the skin just really effortlessly. Very nice. And it gives a nice amount of bronze is to the face and look at the coverage look how that's covering basically everything that's going on under my neck that's wonderful i don't know if you guys can hear that rain you know the hurricane is hitting florida and it's been raining here since last night i like that that looks pretty now we're going to use these yummy skin lift and flex concealers for face and eyes i have shade 15, 14, and 13. This one is 15. They tell you to only use a tiny bit. You don't really need a lot. You know, on, on regular days when you're just running out the house, you know, you could tap it out under your eye and don't blend it with anything. And it stays and it doesn't crease up, but you can't use a lot. Just enough to cover, you know, your dark circles real fast. That's 15, that's 13. It's a cute little bottle, very easy to travel with. I like that about a lot of her products. She makes it where you can travel with them. You know, her being a makeup artist, you know, one of the first things that's on her mind when she's creating a product, something that's easy to carry, which makes a lot of sense. It's not many products that I get from Danessa Myricks that I don't like. I would say out of the products that I tried, 85% of them have been very pleasing then some of them I'll be like, okay, she was not thinking about me when she made this. You know what? I was supposed to use her brush. I just got the brush and it's a concealer brush. Yeah, I was supposed to. <laughs> this is the Yummy Face 3.0 brush and I was supposed to use it under my eyes to see if it works. I'm always looking for a good concealer brush and this is good. What I like about it is that it's not a super large brush, but it does blend out the product and it doesn't hold on to the product like that. I'm gonna put a little more concealer on because this eye, I don't know, it's something about this eye that always, I'm gonna use the 14. There's something about under here, I have like a little bit of texture. I'm gonna put some of this here. Yeah, something about under that eye, it, the product doesn't stick there. I don't know why, it just doesn't. This looks like it's a little bit brighter. I hope and pray that our power does not go out 
because I'll be very upset. And it's one of those type of days. I got my flashlights and stuff ready, just in case. And I have some battery operated light bulbs. These are my favorite powders now to set my under eyes with. I just love them. These are Natasha Denona. This is gonna be the only thing that's not Danessa Myricks. Everything else is gonna be Danessa Myricks. It's just that she doesn't have a pressed powder. I love her loose powder, which we're gonna use, but I always use a pressed powder to set my under eye first, and then I go in with a loose powder. It's just so nice and moisturizing. It doesn't dry out the under eye like some powders do. Like you put some powders under your eye and it dries it out. This doesn't at all. I don't care how much you put under it. It's a really good powder. So I'm just gonna put this everywhere that I put the concealer. I love this brush. It's not super big, but it really has just the right amount of density to spread out your powder and it doesn't stick. I'm gonna blend this in this concealer and I'll just go on with this bronzer again just to blend it out a little bit where it's not looking so harsh because sometimes it looks harsh. And I'll be like, how did I blend that line out? This is the Natasha Denona High Glam Powder Foundation in 8 and 9, in case I didn't say it, which I probably didn't say it. Sometimes I'd be like, oh, no, they know what it is. But I know that sometimes we have new people, and sometimes people forget. I pulled out these two colors, Primadonna and Rose and Brunch. Now, these cream blushes can be used on the face and lips. I don't use them on my lips because my lips are very sensitive and I tried it before it broke my lips out so this is a very like hot pink kind of color but I think it's gonna be perfect with the eyes. It's just so pretty. I didn't love these blushes when they first came out. These blushes also have ups of light in it so they're blurring and they're oil controlling which is wonderful. Is that enough? Maybe I put a little bit more just so we can really see the pink. We never wanna put so much blush on that we look clownish, but sometimes we just really want it to be seen. Okay, and I'm gonna take the Rose and Brunch and just put it here, just a little bit. It's more of a nudie, neutral pink. And don't forget, we still have to set the under eyes with the loose powder. I'm just gonna go in here and bring the concealer down a little bit. Do we need more concealer? Sometimes I go in and then I bring the blush up too high and I have to go in with a little more concealer, which is what I'm gonna do, just a little tiny bit. Okay, so I have four shades of this Danessa Myricks Evolution powder. We're going to be using shades. I'm going to use this pink one under my eyes to set. That's the way the shade looks. It's a very finely milled powder. I know you guys got to hear that rain because it's coming down. Can you even tell that that's pink? Very finely milled, but it's beautiful on the skin. It's not a talc free powder, just in case any of you guys are wondering. It's not talc free. It's a very oil absorbent powder. Very oil absorbent. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with shade, shade number four for the rest of the face. That's the beautiful chocolatey color. So gorgeous. I just wanna set everything. And I think there's one shade darker in this powder. I don't usually like to get a powder that's so dark because sometimes it'll change the shade of your makeup. So I like to get something that is 
lighter. With all of the oils and everything, it doesn't get like super dark because that happens. So I always go for like a shade lighter in the loose powder. That rain is coming down. If you guys like this video so far, please give the video a thumbs up. I can't wait to hear your thoughts on this eyeshadow palette and just the rest of the makeup because some of you guys have seen me use her makeup before and some of you guys haven't. So what are you thinking so far? I'm going to go back into this shade right here and put it here. Take this green shade I'm gonna go into this shade right here that's gorgeous and let's use this color right here that color looks like snowflakes to me. This color, it looks like snowflakes. I like that. <laughs> I think it's so pretty. Okay, let's do an inner corner highlight. Let's go here. I remember that shade, it's called Rise. Cause it's yellow. Let me get a little mascara. I'm gonna take a brush and just go over my face with this right here, which is the Natasha Denona. High Glam Powder in shade 14, NP, yeah, NP 14. I don't know why that's like that. It's so smooth. Once we spray it, it should be okay. Take this brush and contour my nose. I know this is a long video, guys, but you know, we gotta get these eyes right. And I feel like I need something in the brow upper brow area just to really set it off because I feel like it's missing something. Okay, let's try this shade. Yeah, I think that looks better. It just adds something, just a little pop of something. I think that's better. Okay, I'm going to get a setting spray and spray this face. I'm not going to use the Nesta Myrick setting spray today because her setting spray is very matte, the one that I have. They do have one that's not matte, but I don't have that one. So we're going to find something else that gives us a little more um, of a glowy kind of look to the face. Okay, I'm going to use this Uniconic Glow Fixer by Self Beauty. It gives a nice finish to the face. Very light mist. You can get this off of Amazon. That's really weird that the powder is doing that. I've never seen that before. I've never seen that before. That's really weird. We're gonna keep going and I'm gonna figure it out and fix it at the end. Okay, I'm gonna use this Sigma bronzer, this powder bronzer, to give us a little more definition. I don't know if it's showing up. That's the Sigma bronzer in the shade Matte Deep.
I'm still trying to figure out why my eyes look like that. I'm gonna have to put some powder on it. That's really weird. I've never seen that happen before. All right, guys, I don't know what is up with that, but it was something that I put on. I couldn't tell you what it was. Contour my nose. I'm just gonna wipe my lips off. I think I'm going to use, I have this Danessa Myricks Beauty, the nudist Luxe Cream Palette. I don't even know if they make this anymore. I haven't seen it on her page. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do the lip first so then I'll know what I'm doing with the highlighter and all of that. So I'm gonna use this color right here, shade number two. It's supposed to be creamy, but it's like a dry cream. So I guess you can use it with just about anything. Now I'm going back into this palette because this is for lips, eyes, and face. We're gonna use something to highlight with and something to put on my lips. Let's try this shade for a highlighter. It's not really a highlighter like that. Let's try this shade. It's weird because it doesn't really look. I wanted it to be more white than this yellow. This, this Upsolite really dries the face out, if you can see that. I mean, the color is gorgeous. Oh wow, that's like, I don't even know what color that was. I think it was this one. Yeah, wow. Do you see how that's weird? Okay guys, just know that this is a galactic look. This is not a look that you would wear every day. Well, some people would. This is just a bit much for me, but I just really want to show you what you can do with this palette. I like it though. I think it looks really pretty. You know me in color. That's different though. I wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting a green. Okay, let's try this. This one on the nose. Is it really green? I can't remember. I like it. It's definitely color shifting. Cause I really didn't think that that was gonna come out looking yellow like that, but I do like it. And this green is actually more of a gold shade, which is good. I like that. Okay, I want something else on there. Everything that looks white is really not white. Let's see this. Okay, I like it though. This is this color. That's different. I really like, this is like a balmy feel. It don't even feel like. Now I need yellow on my lips. I need a yellow. I'm gonna try this yellow. Everything that I use on my face will be linked below and listed. I'm also going to list my other two Danessa Myricks videos so you guys can see those looks. I'm gonna take this purple and I'm going to line my lips with it. That is gorgeous. Do 
That is so pretty. Okay guys, this is our look. And I still feel like that satin spray looks very matte. So I'm going to, let me spray one more time. All right, I'm gonna use this Benefit, the Professional Super Setter Setting Spray. I think we need a little pink in this lip, right? Just a little pink. I'm done now. <laughs> I am going to comb my hair and I'll be right back to give you my thoughts on this makeup, show you everything that we use, and I cannot wait to hear you guys' thoughts. I cannot wait. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. Okay, my precious jewels, I'm back. This is what our finished look is looking like. I think it looks really, really good. Considering all of the colors and stuff that we had to work with, I think it was very creative. So hopefully you guys like this look. Please let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are. Today's video was really about trying new makeup. The Danessa Myricks Beauty Light Work Volume 6, the Freedom Palette. This is what we reviewed. We did swatches, which are still on my arm. <laughs> I showed you how this beautiful magnetic palette comes apart. Like this, this is a magnetic mirror. Lord, this is a magnetic mirror. Let me get this open. My, I just put lotion on my hands. The palette opens like this. It's a magnetic cover. Then you have these three palettes that you can pop out and you can put this on top of it and make it one palette, make it easy to travel with. And it can go into this cute little magnetic carrying case. I think the shades are really, really beautiful. They're very pigmented. And I actually like this palette a little bit more than I like the last one. And I'm gonna tell you why. Matter of fact, let me show you why. Okay, so this one is Light Work 4. This one is Light Work 5. And what I noticed about them, these last ones, each palette had nothing but like shimmers and like pretty, I mean, different kinds of shadows but none of them were matte. So it was really nothing to, to blend these shadows out with. Beautiful colors, don't get me wrong, but it's just that there was nothing to blend out with. There were no matte shades to blend out with. And the same thing with this one. Gorgeous, gorgeous powders, beautiful formula. And this is the one that I was telling you guys about that I wore to a party not too long ago. I was rushing to do my makeup. But yeah, I love, I love, love, love her palettes. But what I loved the most about this one is that it had matte shades in it that you could actually blend something into. And I was able to use quite a lot of those shadows. I think I used at least 12 colors. I know I did, but I think it came out really nice. Like everything blended in really beautiful on the skin. I think the eyes look really good. The lips are very different. The cheeks, gorgeous. I think it really pops on my deeper skin and I'm sure that you guys would like it too. If you are color girls, you don't necessarily have to wear all of these shadows like I'm wearing. I just wanted to show you what you could do with the palette, like how creative you can get. And this is not even creative over the top. This is just slightly creative, just to let you know that you can actually, I would wear this out. Like I would go to a brunch, I would go to a date night, as long as we've been on a date before. If we haven't been on a date before, then I wouldn't wear this on date night, because he'll be like, okay, what is this, a clown? But I would definitely wear this, going out, hanging out with the girls, going to a bar, like you would get so much attention. Now it may be good attention, it may not be good attention, but it'll be attention. But I think that this makeup looks really, really nice. I like the way I put it together, but I wanna hear what you guys think. So please drop me a comment in the comment section and let me know your thoughts. Also, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. I love you guys, and I know this video is gonna be long already. I will list everything that I put on my face 
the setting spray that I had to use to finally give me a lifelike look is this Morphe Continuous Mist Setting Spray. That's why I always keep it around. Danessa Myrick's products, although I love them, that blurring balm powder, this universal bl blurring balm powder, I love it, right? But it's super, super matte. When you put it on your face, you just have to know that you need to moisturize, like really, really moisturize. So that's why when I first got this Moisture Repair Balm Serum, I didn't think I was going to be able to use it because I have oily skin and it's like a light, not oil, but just a balm that goes on your face and it gives you a really nice amount of moisture. And usually what I will do is I will spray in between layers when I use the Blur and Balm Powder because it can be really, really matte. Her makeup is made not to come off. And that's why I'm telling you, like, you can wear this makeup in 90 degree weather, almost 100 degree weather. I never wore it above 100, so I'm not going to say 100, but when you come back, your face is going to look just like this. And you don't really have to do much touching up. I didn't have to do any touching up. Like, when I wore it the days, because I wore it and I was testing it out. And I'm telling you, it was gorgeous all day long. So I really hope that you like this makeup guys i'm not gonna go over everything that i put on my face because we would be here forever that's an extra 15 minutes to the video and i know this is gonna be long enough so i will link and list everything if you have any questions about anything please feel free to drop me a comment in the comment section i don't know if i told you guys i'm on tiktok and i'm on instagram so if you ever have any questions for me and you want to hit me up on instagram please do so now i don't check it every day because I don't go on there all the time but I do check it quite frequently so you can always follow me on TikTok follow me on Instagram same name just beauty by Julie P leave me a message and um, I'll get back to you I'll answer any questions that you have I love you my precious jewels thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video I hope that you like this makeup and I cannot wait to hear your thoughts on this makeup so I'll see you guys in the next video if you enjoyed this video i will definitely link another video on the screen so that you can continue to watch and i'll link my other two danessa myricks videos actually i have quite a few videos for danessa myricks but i have two other light work palette videos that i know for sure and i'll link them so you guys can watch them and i think she opens the vault like maybe once or twice a year for those palettes because they are limited edition so if you don't get this one now you probably have to wait until whenever she decides to open it up. Like, there's no set time. So, that's it, guys. I love you. And I hope that you enjoyed my review of this Danessa Myricks Lightwork 6 Freedom Palette. <laughs> yes. <laughs>